Hello right, folks and welcome to the channel and in today's video we're going to take a look at one of the brand new amp seams from Presonus as part of their high density pack. Uh, in this video we're going to be checking out the pineapple number no. four. So let's check this out. So Presonus have just released a brand new amp sim pack to go with their Ampire amp team it's, it's an add-on to the uh, the Ampire amp team so if you've got the if you've got Ampire then you can get hold of this and you get three different amps you get the Metal Machine Plus which is based on a PV5150 you've got the Pineapple number no. 4 based on an orange uh, adapter the 15 watt version and you also get gasoline emc squared which yeah you see that's based on diesel i'm not sure whether that's the herbert or the vh4 but yeah based on a one of those and it, and they come with matching cabs so as well as those they've also released six brand new pedals to go on the pedal board as well so you've got the blue eq which is 10 band eq you've got the demolition drive which by one because it is based on the uh, the precision drive dual compressor pitch shifter which as you see that's uh, that's based on the uh, the dig digitech even <laughs> digitech whammy uh, a space reverb and yeah i think you see what that one is uh, that's a wild drive so yeah that's based on the uh, the dunlop or the mxr dunlop berserker drive or is it originally called that called the wild drive no it wasn't called the wild yeah you, you, you know which one i mean so uh, i'm not going to do all the amp sims and the pedals in this video we're just going to do the uh the orange pineapple or they've called it a pineapple shall i say i'll do separate videos for each one and then i'll do one for just the pedals so on this video i might say we're just going to do the uh the pineapple orange one and we've got the orange match cab and i'm using their version of the tube streamer rather than using one of the newer pedals i'll do a demo of all the pedals in a separate video so before we plug the fiddle in have a mess about let's see what it sounds like in a quick mix So there you go, you've heard it in a mix. So we'll just have a quick dive down and have a look at all the controls. So as you see, I've got a tube scream in there, just set to the typical tube screamer settings. So as you can see, it's the 50, it's based on the 15 watt orange dark terror. So it's got a 15 watt setting and a 7 watt setting, which I think is pretty cool little feature there really simple controls you've got volume three band eq and you've got your gain at the end and then it comes with a matching 
two by twelve pineapple <laughs> pineapple cow so these are the settings i've got it on at the moment get a fiddle and uh, we'll have a bash about maybe mess about with some of the uh, some of the dials see what sounds we can get out of it right so we're all plugged in for this demo i'm going to use the uh, the ibanez grg 121 that's going directly into my personas audio box i2 straight to studio one directly into the amp sim there's going to be no post processing on this whatsoever and this is just going to be the uh, the raw sound of the amp sim itself so these are the settings i've got it on like i say i've got a typical tube screamer in there i'm, I'm just using the the original tube screamer in the uh, the program itself i'm not going to use the precision precision drive or the the wild overdrive i'm going to save them for a separate video so I'll, as you see i've just got it on typical tube screamer settings and uh, i've got it on the uh, the 15 watt setting we'll, we'll have a little bit of a mess about but we'll start off on these settings yeah that sounds pretty gnarly I'm liking this. It uh, does sound pretty gnarly. So that's what it sounds like on those settings. So I'll leave it on the same settings. We'll just pop it down onto seven watts. Ah. 
I'm not really hearing really much of a difference, I don't know about you guys. Maybe just a little bit fuller on the 15 watts, but not by much. So, that's vo uh, Gain, all the way down to zero. And like with a lot of orange amps, when you turn the gain down, it does turn the volume down. Quarter of the way up. That's pretty nice. And halfway up. That's breaking up quite a bit now. And three quarters of the way up. And yeah, it's getting a bit noisy now. And all the gain! Put that back down to more reasonable level. And this is a uh, treble. Right, all the way down. Yeah. All that uh, treble taken out, and yeah, definitely muddy. Yeah, still a bit muddy. That's about halfway up. Yeah, we get in there now. That's about three quarters of the way up. the treble say so that's all the way up that's not too harsh you sounding but yeah I I'd just back that off a little bit and these are the mids all the way off yeah not too bad Quarter of the way up. And uh, I'm halfway up. And uh, roughly three quarters of the way up. Yeah, now, now you just start to get that cardboardy sound from the mids. And this is all the mids. Yeah, I like it about there. And this is the bass. All the way off. Even though that not got much bass on it, it still sounds pretty aggressive. Uh, quarter of the way up. Halfway up. Three quarters of the way up. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, starting to get a bit much there, especially with this guitar, because it's tuned to drop C. And all the bass. Yeah, definitely way too much. So uh, with this speeding drops here, that's why I've got the, the bass just down a little bit. So, yeah, there you go. That's the uh, Presonus High Density Pack Pineapple. I'll tell it's, it's based on the uh, the orange dark terror 15 watt version my thoughts on it what do I think about it well I don't think there's really much to complain about it I've, I've been messing about with it for a few days now and I've not really found any negative points overall I'm quite liking the sound as regular viewers will know I'm a big fan of the uh, the sort of that orange loose uh, bass sound uh, yeah i like my tight high gain sounds as well but yeah i've always been a big fan of the orange sound and i think the personas have done a pretty damn good job here and with that matching cab i think it sounds pretty gnarly as well um, overall i think it sounds pretty good um let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'll leave a link to the personas website down there in the description and uh, yeah that's uh, that's all for today and we'll catch you in the next one right folks i hope you enjoyed that video you can follow me on social media and you can get my music online and if you want to support the channel there's uh, buy me a coffee and paypal links they're all down in the description click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen keep it loud and keep it heavy